the dart falls out, but it's already delivered its payload of tranquilizer. Thankfully, Little Pinkfoot's family is at hand. But this could still go badly wrong. Sylvia or her family could charge and force the team to withdraw. Sylvia could fall awkwardly. Her huge bulk could restrict her ability to breathe. She could suffocate. Worse still, she could fall on Little Pinkfoot and crush her. At first, things are looking good. But then Sylvia puts out a distress call. Little Pinkfoot responds. She runs back to Sylvia and stands right underneath her three-ton bulk. For her, being right under Mum is the safest place in the world. David and the team try to flush Little Pinkfoot out with their vehicles. But she just won't budge. Eventually, David does the unthinkable. He risks his own life to save Little Pinkfoot's. If Sylvia goes down now, she could easily crush them both. but even Little Pinkfoot weighs 100 kilos. Moving her takes force. The rest of the herd are wild with distress. They could charge at any moment. Little Pinkfoot panics. team have got to get her back to her sister's side. Thankfully, baby elephants instinctively follow large objects, so David uses his vehicle to lead her towards her family. Once she's safe, the team can start their work. The abscess is huge. It's drained and cleaned thoroughly. The team work as fast as they can to reduce the stress to Sylvia and the rest of the herd. A vet from the Kenyan Wildlife Service gives her a massive dose of antibiotics. Thousands of elephants get shot every year. Most die slowly and painfully. Finally, the vet gives Sylvia an antidote to the tranquilizer to bring her round. <laughs> 